Hey everyone, Bruce Schwartz here. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for the support, everyone. This is the daytime moon. Many people ask me, can you film the moon during the day? Of course, it's not with a telescope. It's with the P900, but minus 23 degrees Celsius at this time. It was yesterday afternoon. So I'm going to show you some of the moon during the day. And then as uh, the evening progresses, and it starts getting dark. I started filming the moon again with the P900. Spurts of 10 minutes because it drains the battery entirely um, in the cold weather, but I was having a lot of nice, clear footage. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. We're gonna finish off with some 14 inch telescope footage and I'll get another video up, a cool video up this afternoon. If there were moons or planets hidden around Earth, they could be hidden by their terminator line. We only see half the moon now. So if there's a planet or moon always in the area of the terminator line being completely over it, we'd never know it was there.
Well, there's always something you can do, you know, with your editor and the P900 footage to present it in a way where it's a lot nicer than just, you know, straight up footage, adjusting the exposure. Not a lot of color. Let me tell you, it's hard to get color with that P900. It's also the same for the SARS. Uh, it's hard to get color out. You can after enhancing it, but often it's very hard. And that's the thing. When you zoom up with the P900, you're going to get a lot of grainy images. And here's the thing. The moon moves a lot faster across your screen your screen with a telescope and also with a camera. People don't realize it, but when you're filming it on a tripod, um, that moon is running across the screen. Therefore, you're, getting, you're going to get a shaky footage because the camera is always trying to adjust and it's always going in and out of focus. So back out, slow down the footage and you'll get um, a better shot. Here's some 14 inch footage to finish off the video. More to come, and I'm gonna take a break after this video because I wanna go answer some comments and say hello to everyone. Thanks for the support and commenting and uh, subscribing, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. I never started this channel to thrash any association nor to uh, descend any religions or to change anyone's beliefs. But what I'm finding up there on the moon in my research and out there in space is proving to me, is confirming to me that there is some type of intelligent being out there. And if we as humans are not supposedly able, so long science, to cross over out of this realm, our earth, well, there's a problem because someone or something is on the other side and is on that moon. And there has to be a way that people or beings from Earth are able to get to the moon. Hey there, everyone. Thanks so much for connecting. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out the research, taking the time to subscribe. And I want you all to know that who these names are. You know, at the end of the, my video, I always have these same names that are at the end of the video. Uh, this channel is thanks to these people. This is why this channel exists, me and these people. Uh, if it wasn't for these people, I would not have been able to to do what I can do here with my editing and with my telescope. It's all thanks to uh, the telescope having been raised by these people um, right here. And it's something really magical because uh, I was able to find UFOs. I was able to find uh, signs of hazes and clouds. These are all 
confirmed. This is all stuff I'm finding. And uh, guys, I love you for it. 2019 is going to be amazing. Thanks a lot. And for you wonderful parents bringing your kids here to see my footage, uh, it's not always UFOs and aliens. I do have uh, footage, close-ups of the moon, but I'm not talking about anything alien related. And I still appreciate you going through the videos and showing your kids the beautiful surface of the moon because it really is beautiful.